Hey, Billy Davidson here with Davidson Pressure Washing and Painting, Hammond, Louisiana. I got another pressure washing video here for you today that is very unique. This is something we very rarely run across, so this video may be the one video that could help you out the most. I landed this pressure washing job off of a general contractor that I often do work for. If you want to learn more about how to get some of these pressure washing jobs, check out the link in the description. The general contractor requested us to clean this house from all this dust and contaminants that are on the home because they needed to do some touch up paint. Now, all of this dust, contaminant, sheetrock dust was due to the construction of the home and may have to be done again at some point in the near future, but we had to clean it so they could do some touch up paint. As soon as we seen this house, we knew that we could not use our pressure washer are sodium hypochlorite. Due to the organic nature of the exterior paint on this particular home, sodium hypochlorite would definitely bleach this out instantly, and high pressure also could leave streaks in it because the paint was not fully aged past 30 days. In this particular application to clean the exterior of the house, we had to resort to soft bristle brushes and a lubricating surfactant. I'll also put some information down in the description below that will show you exactly how to price some of these more challenging cleaning jobs. The basic technique is to pre-soak or pre-wet the exterior of the home before touching it with a brush. Don't let it dry and then apply a liberal amount of lubricating surfactant to your brush and softly scrub the house from top to bottom and rinse it very well afterwards. Make sure you don't use no more pressure that you would use on a brand new car. And the proper brush has to be soft bristle brushes. And again, you want to use a soft bristle brush, something that you would use on a brand new vehicle and cleaning that brush periodically throughout the cleaning process to remove any sand or dust that gets trapped inside the brush. Due to the nature of the pigmentation of this paint, it's going to heat up in direct sunlight. So I strongly encourage you Doing a job like this, you would have to take small sections, keep it wet, and rinse thoroughly immediately after brushing. Sand and dust particles that are stuck to the house can become very abrasive if trapped between a dry brush and a dry wall. So make sure everything stays very wet and don't let it dry between applications. Most commercially grade surfactants will contain lipids within the solution which will act more as a lubricant versus using a detergent. This acts as a lubrication for your brush to glide smoothly across the surface of the exterior of the house. In addition, it does assist in dislodging dust and sand particles from the surface. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, it's strongly advised not to use sodium hypochlorite or high pressure when dealing with organic paint. If you're not 100% sure, you can always do a test spot in a small area that can't be readily be seen. Be aware that there are organic paints on the market currently that cannot withstand any amount of sodium hypochlorite. With these types of exterior paints, you will have to hand brush and use surfactants to clean the exterior properly. Therefore, this is a significant upcharge to the customer. And don't forget to check out the description down below this video for some pricing information on this type of hand scrubbing work. As a pressure washing contractor, I encourage you to build relationships with general contractors in your area. Having relationships with general contractors can net you dozens of jobs more each year. For more very specific and unique ways to grow a pressure washing business, please visit my website down in the description of this video to learn more. I'm Billy Davidson here with BillyDavidsonVIP.com, helping you grow your pressure washing business one client at a time. We hope to see you in the next video.